To follow up on my first opening fuck you for the show, you know, I I think a lot of people need to spend more more energy toward their yes instead of so much mm-hmm. attention to saying no to the you know the fu's to the people who you know just let them be. Who cares? Right. Put more emphasis on you know going forward instead of defending off people trying to sc- scratch at you or whatever. You know, they're just barking. Who cares? <laughs> let them be them, and you be you. So. Try to lean more into the positive direction of saying yes to yourself, saying fuck yes to you, instead of worrying about saying fuck no behind you all the time. I think a lot of people spend too much time back here. Go forward and say fuck yes. Because when you say fuck yes so passionately and you take action to honor that, you automatically defeat that shit behind you. Exactly, because if you stay with the people talking and the haters, you're going to sit there and just gravel in it, you know? If you just say fuck you and go to the people that support you, Right. Lisa, good point. I used to turn the sink on a lot. Then I just got freaked out and didn't want to do it at all. I would just hold it and let that, you know, prairie dog hit that cotton for a day for hours. And I'll even have a little poop in my pants, I don't care. As long as I get home to do it. I am the smartest man alive. Oh my gosh. Urban Dictionary has a different meaning for Dutch oven. While you're getting a blowjob from a girl, or I guess boy, whoever, or tranny, or he, he, she, 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 he, whatever. Boys have a penis, girls have a vagina. Throw a blanket over their their body, including their head, and fart. (laughs) This causes her or him or whatever to be boxed in the stench of your fart. I didn't know getting a BJ had to be part of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I just thought it was something you did when you both got comfy in bed and then you just pulled the covers up. Oh, I missed that part. (laughs) Yeah, their definition of Dutch oven is not far off from a blumpkin. I've never heard of that. (laughs) The hell is that? A blumpkin? (laughs) Look it up. Oh, God. Oh, God. Should we do it? Should I do it, guys? We're here. Might as well. What's it called again? Oh, God. I'm scared. A blumpkin. A blumpkin? Sounds like something from Willy Wonka. Shit. Oh, God. (laughs) Oh, Dave. Dave, why? (laughs) What's it say? <laughs> a male yeah. receiving genital stimulation whilst simultaneously taking a shit. Oh. You know what? This is kind of deep. A white yeah. out and a brown out at the same time. You know, the anus has the second highest density of nerve endings in the body. I don't even know what's going on anymore. <laughs> you got white and brown coming out at the same time. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. That's my new sound effect. That's my new one. <laughs> Oh, oh, God. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I could be of service. So we teased it earlier. Is this a terrible thing to talk about? I'm fascinated by queefs. Are you really? Yeah. Why are you fascinated by them? Well, because one time, this is so wrong, but it just happened. Uh-huh. Performing oral or getting ready to on, on a female I was with or whatever. The the most air-producing, flapping queef I've ever seen in my life is a, like was talking to me. His lips came out. It was like a Pink Floyd acid thing. I was like looking at it. Oh. And then she acted like nothing happened. I'm like, for a second, I thought, what, is, what the fuck is that? <laughs> she said, she said, was that a something fly out of her? You're like, <laughs> I guess my question is, do you like acknowledge it happened or do you just keep going like she did? I would have felt better with like a little bit of a laugh and ex- explanation real quick. Or yeah, no, is that, is that, is that kill the think. mood? Sorry, that was a queef. It, it means that the air comes out of my vagina because I had too much gas and carbohydrates. Okay, now you can continue to eat me. Is this real life? No, I agree with you. I do. Should is give them weird? a warning. Is it, is it weird that it doesn't bother me at all? No. <laughs> Yummy. It's not weird. <laughs> Dave, Dave, you're a freak in the sheets, aren't like, you, bro? Doing it, Am I just that fucked up? Yeah. No. I mean, Dave, Dave that's so awesome. <laughs> You don't care. You just anything. Farts and poop and jizz. Just everything. Oh, my God. Who the hell cares? It's all natural and normal, right? <laughs> it's awesome, yeah. bro. Oh, man. And now, if she was going to launch a fart, she probably would have said something or not done it or held it in. But you just to right. launch the queef and not say anything, mm-hmm. not let me know what it was. Later, I found out that that's what it was. At the time, I didn't, I didn't know what a queef was. Oh. Earth to dare it. I didn't know what happened. Yeah, it's just air. So that's yeah, why so it's I no big deal. Why... Right. And I'm like, exactly. I'm like, okay, it doesn't, I don't smell anything. So yeah. that's why I was, I was fascinated. Oh my God, they don't smell. They're just sounds. She didn't say anything about it or, you know, inform me. Right. It was, I, I would have definitely said something because just to let it go, it sounds like a fart. So it's embarrassing, at least for a woman, you know. Well, maybe you want to put out some snacks or something. Doesn't have to be nothing fancy. Right. So now put yourself in her spot. Would you, have, what would you have said? I would have said something in a joking manner. Like what? Like made it funny. I don't know. Like. I'm trying to think of what I would have said. Yeah, no, that's great. Say something. This is awesome. Take your time. Quit playing with your dinghy. Like, did you like that pussy fart? Oh, shit. Can I say that? So is this a PG show or a PG-13 show? <laughs> Can you say that? Hell yeah, yeah. we prefer it. Uh, when do we have a sexy intercourse? <laughs> yeah. Oh. 
Why, why not say something like, all right, now your turn. Right, there you go. No, yeah. say it again real fast. Oh, no. Slower. <laughs> like, hey, babe, you like that pussy floor? Yeah! There's your promo. <laughs> Dude, you are for sure getting a sound effect on that one, aren't you? Oh, my God, I can't yeah. wait. <laughs> I mean, you're having sex. You're a little, you're a little pushing air into her. Gotta come out somewhere. Okay, yeah, I get it. Yeah, I totally get it. I think a little joke would have been great. You like that pussy fart? Now keep eating, yeah. bitch. Yeah, or you little pussy, <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> Just have fun with it. The pussy fart. I never thought of it. The pussy fart. It's so awesome. <laughs> <gasps> Who did that? I don't think you have the control to hold in a queef like you would a fart. Oh, oh, that adds a whole thing to it. Have it's like control. scientific. That was unfathomably <laughs> deep. Beg to differ. <laughs> So queefs just flap out? No, some women can make themselves do it, and some can't. You just. What is your favorite hole? <laughs> if there are any animators out there, I want the intro to this show to be seriously. I have it written down. I'll show you a flapping crazy queef, like like in per, like a big like if if there was a mascot for a flapping queef. <laughs> And all three of us are backing up. We're like all cartoon characters. We're back. We're backing up, and it, and the queen just blows us away. Can I? Have and a then and then we get splatted like a fly. We all like flies. We stick to a Peter North load right on the back at the back of the wall. Oh yeah! So a queef sends us off into the air, and then we all land on a Peter North load on the wall. How funny would that be? What the fuck? Welcome to the Darren Yates show, or whatever. I don't know, whatever we call it. Cue the celery. Yes, yes. <laughs> Pooping in public, I freaking, I hate it. It drives me crazy. Yeah. So you will actually put your feet up. You'll hover there. I do. <laughs> wow. I think people can't see me, but you know the little gap in the door? Yeah. They see you. That, that terrifies me, that little gap. <laughs> like one's too wide. I, I'll put yeah. something there if I have a coat or something, if I can squeeze in there or something. Yeah, Come I on, you don't go. And, and then I'll be still, we'll be sitting there waiting for someone who comes to the next stall, and we'll be sitting there waiting, and they'll just drop you out. Just <laughs> <laughs> they'll just make all this noise and almost like make more noise than they, they, I would. And I'm sitting there not afraid to even put my feet down. Right. It's like they do it on purpose, and we're over here scared shitless. You know, yeah. trying to hike our legs up. Yeah. Intruder alert. Danger. And I'm getting pissed. And he's so open about his loud, smelly shit. Oh, God. You know, he's like, how can you be so open about it? Hide a little bit. Jeez. Have a little bit I of cooth. Jeez, you right. guys lift up your feet. I take my feet and do the little t, t for two dance. <laughs> so Dave's the guy that will plop down, be on his phone, his launch a turd, sounds, and care. Oh, yeah. See, but what that is is camouflage. So you guys can let yours go and nobody knows. They think it's me. Thank you. <laughs> nice. I, I Thank will you. take all that credit. Biggest Don't surprise he... in the world, fart with a lump in it. <laughs> oh, God. So, Megan, you said you've never done that. <laughs> Darren, you pretty much said you have. The, the, the shark thing? Oh, yeah. 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 I think I did it once, once or twice. I know one, I knew it was I knew it was coming. I think I was somewhere where I just couldn't help it. I had a little, little, little bit. You know, I had to get a little, let a little bit out to survive the next couple hours. Don't! <laughs> of course, yeah. Part. And then just try not to be anywhere where I'm going to smell it. Oh, God. Shut up. And the one, I legit thought it was a fart, but it wasn't. Isn't that a horrible feeling? Yeah, When that. you know, oh, God, you're going to have some serious cleanup. And you gotta Shame clean up aisle three. And sniff. And bushes. Who out there has a bush? <laughs> if you send in a bush picture, don't show us the genitalia, just the bush. You will get five entries into our raffle drum with a chance to win some free celery powder. If you flap a queef at your, your uh, partner's face, just... Do what Megan did. Oh, man. What'd I say? I forgot. Did you like that pussy fart? Yeah. Somebody, you guys yeah. do that. <laughs> You're just open. You're fun. I would love That's that. Really That's so awesome. All right, yeah. guys. Later, all. All right. All right bye. You guys. Yeah, they do like a, a web series, YouTube, podcast, all that oh. stuff. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So, awesome. so they're on Ethernet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All the cool kids are on Ethernet. You know? Yeah. Anyone ever have the after surgery constipation? I don't really yeah. have that problem. I was fine after my back surgery. <laughs> Either.